In the previous videos, we have animated the group of fish and the puffer fish using layer parenting. In this video, let's see how we can leverage the new modern rigging capabilities to animate rest of the species in the aquarium. Let's start animating the seahorse here. Using modern rigging, you can create modern rigging on shapes, drawing objects, or groups containing them. You can also create rigging on top of bitmaps. In order to start rigging, choose Asset Warp Tool from the toolbar and select the object you want to rig. Click on the object to create the first joint. After creating the first joint while hovering over the mesh, you will see a preview of the phone that is going to be created on the next click. Click on the object again to create another joint. You can see that the root joint will always be indicated by a square and its child joint will always be indicated by a circle connected by a bone. Let's continue rigging by creating two more joints from hip to the head. If you want to branch out a new joint for the tail, you can click on the root joint to make it active. And you can see the bone preview here. So once the root joint is active, the next click will branch out a new rig structure from the active root joint. Let's create two more joints for the tail. So if you want to branch out a new joint for the fins, Again, you can click on the root joint and click on the fin to create a bone in between these two joints. To cancel the preview of the creation process, you can click outside an empty stage or you can click escape in the keyboard to disable the active joint so that the preview is canceled. So if you want to delete a joint, including the bone, you can click on the joint and hit the delete button to delete the joint and the bone connecting it. In order to connect two existing joints with a bone, you can click on the joint from where you want to make the connection and hold the Alt or Option key. And then click on the other joint to make a bone connection between them. Once a rig is created to deform the object, you can either drag the joint or you can select the bone and rotate it. Now let's create some poses for the seahorse. Let me insert a keyframe at 40th frame and one more at 80th frame. Let me just deform the in between 40th frame. I'm just dragging the root joint so the entire structure moves along. Let me just make that tail hanging. So moving the joint will deform the active bone and move the rest of the child bones. So in order to just move the individual joint, you can double click it and just move without affecting the rest of the bone structure. So as you can see here, our poses are set. Let's create Classic Tween to animate it. So this is how our animation looks after creating Classic Tween. Let's also add some ease effect to add realistic and pleasing motion to the tween. Let us publish this and see the final output. This is how our animation looks when it's published. Now let's move on to the next video and start animating the seaweed.